Hi everyone, I'm CJ. I'm the creator of the ATT Quest Manager. Um, the name may be changed at some point, but that's the current name. Um, I wanted to make a quick guide on how to install and run the application. So you should find a link in the comments to my GitHub. Um, from here, click on the code button and download zip. It should only take a moment to download it. Next, go to wherever the file was downloaded to. Um, you should be able to right click it and extract. Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. And from that, you can open up the new folder. And you need to edit the login.txt. Um, so under name, you will enter your in-game name. For password, of course, enter your password. Make sure to keep it private. And then you'll enter your server ID. In my case, I've included it down the bottom as an example. Um, you could basically write whatever you want below this point. So if you have multiple servers, it could be good keeping a list of what the server IDs are. Um, exit and save. And then we're looking for ATT Quest Manager, the application. So this is what the main window looks like. Uh, you'll notice that the name is filled out automatically, but you can change this to, to anyone's name and it'll update in the command. You will notice here there's a connect button. So if someone was on my server, I would press the connect button um, and give it a few seconds and it would connect to the server and this would change to a send button. And then any command that is in this uh, box would get sent. So there's no prefab selected, but if I went through this organized list and chose an item, um, this is what it would send to my post box. Um, you'll notice some items have previews. Not all of them do. Uh, I will slowly add more over time or change some of the images to be a bit clearer. Um, okay, so some items can be forged when you spawn them, and particularly blades. Um, if you want them to be forged, you just click on this checkbox. Um, even if you have it on for items that are not forgeable, the command will still work and, you know, nothing bad will happen. Um, if for some reason someone drops a lot of items in an area and you need to clean it up quickly, you can select the item. Oh, there's no preview for this one, strange. Um, you can select the item and then select delete all. That will delete all of that item in a very large area. Um, please be very careful using this because it is a huge area and I'm not responsible for you know, you accidentally deleting more than you intended. Um, if we uncheck that, it goes back to the, the spawning command. A um, few other things we can do. Uh, we could change the amount of items that are spawned. You can either click on these or type in an amount and it'll update here. Um, same, if we want to set the time of day, we can do that here. For example, this would set this to 11 a.m. Um, if we want to go back to spawning in items, uh, just click on an item and it goes back. Same with teleporting. If I choose a teleport location, um, I think s maybe not all of these will work right now on Quest, but you can always try them. Um, like this is outside the mines and it automatically does the command. 
Um, if you wanted to teleport everyone, you would just type in. Oops, where is it? You would just type in an asterisk, and that would teleport everyone who's online at that moment. Um, again, if I want to go back to spawning items, I just click on an item. Very, very simple. I've tried to organize items to make it searching a lot easier. Um, hopefully the order makes sense. Uh, I may change a little bit. And you may find the same item shows up in more than one location. Um, that's just me trying to predict how people will search for items. Um, let me find an example. Yeah, see, like weapon and tool parts, there's so many different options. So hopefully this makes it a bit clearer. Uh, yeah, see, this is an image that I want to update later to make it easier to see. Uh, th this is the an example of something that can be forged and can also have the material set. Um, if you are not sure what these materials are, I'll link to another of my videos which shows every material in the game. Uh, that will be in the comments of this video. Um, thanks for trying it out. Bye.